This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. Everything's 3D Hollywood today. I remember back when I was, I was your age, you used to get old yeah, oh, TV sets, no satellite hookups or anything, just throw our signals out of the air. Those shows must have been really boring. They weren't even interactive. Uh, don't be so sure about that. There were some great shows back then. Oh, wait a minute. Let me look at this. Mm. Ooh, what? what's that? Oh, it's called a VCR. <laughs> Uh, see, back before all the video was put directly into computer memory in the com net, people used to tape shows. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, there's, there's a tape already in here. Let me let me hook this up here. Let me see what we got. Uh, oh, ooh, oh, damn radiation. <coughs> come back with us to the 60s and 70s, the dwelling place of the lost generation. An era whose heroes, role models, and very lives were molded informed by weekly installments of favorite television programs. Welcome to the place your parents didn't understand. Welcome to the vast wasteland. Welcome, Welcome home. home. Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. Uh, this is not only another exciting episode, but it's the first of our series episodes, so we couldn't be more happy and proud. Yeah. I'm Mark Schmidbauer, along with Marty Wiley and Wilbur Neal, and we're here to talk about 60s and 70s television. First couple notes before we uh, f jump right into the festivities. First thing, like I said, it's our first series episode, and we're, uh, we're going to be on uh, Tuesdays at 6 p.m., Wednesdays at 10 p.m., and Thursdays at 3 p.m. So, uh... So no so more excuses that you were drunk and you didn't know what the hell we were talking that's about. That's right. So <laughs> we want to see you uh, just making uh, Vast Wasteland uh, uh, a, a lovely habit in your household. So uh, we have the other thing. Uh, we uh, realize that for some strange reason you may want to actually write in to Vast Wasteland. So if you want to write in, write to Vast Wasteland box. 15, 15, 26, Columbus, Ohio, 43215. No letter bombs, please. And now Thank for uh, tonight's uh, topic. You know, there's been a lot of uh, things going on in the 80s and going into the 90s, uh, certainly resonant of 60s and 70s television, and that is, of course, all the reunion shows. And uh, we realize that there are a lot of re shows that should have reunion shows. And so tonight, kind of a... It's kind of a Siskel and Ebert kind of deal. We're going to pick our picks for shows that we wish they'd make reunion shows for. And so uh, I'm going to turn uh, the festivities over to Wilbert. And uh, let's hear your picks for shows you wish there were reunions your shows for. OK. Now on these, let's see. Some of them may have actually, they might have touched upon a reunion, but they've never actually done the reunion show per se. So what I'm going to do here is I'll just run down my list. Oh, we didn't tell them the rules. Oh, we had rules. you're right. You couldn't pick a show like where people were dead. Where, where major cast members were dead. And, what was and the other one where major cast members are enormous stars now. So yeah. you won't see a Hogan's Heroes reunion show or an I Spy reunion show. For you those probably wouldn't see Mork and Mindy either. <laughs> right. Yeah. So because we wanted to be, you know, to put ourselves in the position, we're big time uh, Hollywood writers and we're pitching to the networks and we're not going to pitch to the network some ideas which obviously isn't going to work so anyways uh, sorry to interrupt go ahead Wilbur. Once again here are my uh, picks for reunion shows 
Number one, first and foremost, Batman. They've touched upon it, they've looked at it, they've, they've gone on talk shows about it, but they've never actually done the reunion show. I want to see a Batman reunion show. Next, My Favorite Martian. Now that one would be an interesting one to see also because, I mean, you know, Ray Walston, Bill Bixby, they're still around, they're still kicking around. We could, it could actually be a My Favorite Martian reunion show. Now, The Outer Limits. There's, there's just a plethora of things that can be done. There were actually no stars, per se, that were always on there. All you had an was the beginning, series. and it was just an anthology series, correct. So um, there, there's, you could do, they could do that. Okay, um, well, let's see. UFO, which was probably one of my favorite science fiction shows from the 70s, which was a Gary and Sylvia Anderson show. So it's actual, po actually possible that there could be like a Gary and Sylvia Anderson hour or something where they could just do all of their different shows. We got UFO, we got Space 1999, we got all the ones that they did with the um, their Are we talking supercar super here? Super marionettes. What, what, what Are we talking supercar here? <laughs> supercar super was their There's supercar, there's Stingray, there's Fireball XL5, there were the ones that never made it to the United States. <laughs> I want to argue. Like Thunder Thunder birds are go. <laughs> what, what exactly is going on with uh, Sylvie and Gary right now? Absolutely nothing. They're, they're doing nothing. absolutely nothing. There's no like shows in Britain that they're doing or if anything? If there are anything, they're like little Saturday morning things like their last one. Oh, gosh, what was... Well, I can't remember the name of that one now, but it, um, it's kind of a space show and it was just on for one season and that was it and we haven't heard anything from them since. So I'd, I'd like to see something from them. The I'd Sylvia, like to see... The, the Anderson Hour. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, then Night Gallery. Although, now, we run into a problem Rod there. Serling's the dead. The host is dead, dead, but they have done a Twilight Zone where they do not yeah. have him, so it's not like he has to be there, but there's there's still but so much that could be done. Like in one of those terrible impersonators, you know. Well, I hope There's not. so many bad they had, impersonators well, for the, out there. For the new Zones, they had some generic announcer, yeah. Yeah. and then for the Zone movie, they had Burgess Meredith do it who, of course, was big-time zone veteran. Hey, he's veteran. the voice of everything <laughs> yeah, now. Come he is on. the voice of TV. <laughs> yeah. He tells you to drink your milk, <laughs> eat your butter, eat your cheese and everything. Mm -hmm. he, he does everything. Okay, then, um, well, I've got two here that I could run into problems with, so I'll go back to those. Um, I've got three here that I could run into problems with, so I'll come well, back to all of them. Just spit them out. Just oh, well, Kolchak the Night Stalker. Um, Darren McGaffin's still around. I don't see him doing anything on TV these days. He might do a guest spot here or there or something. But, um... Hey, there's still a lot that could be done with that Kolchak character. They might have thought they exhausted it, but come on. There's always something supernatural coming up, always something new, always something they haven't tried. Let's, let's see a Kolchak reunion thing. Also, Dark Shadows. Now here, we... Um, they're talking about that one. There, They are actually doing a Dark Shadow, so that's one I picked. And then and Barnabas must well, be about, ahead. what, 7,000 years old in real life. Well, they're, they're doing it with new people. They've got a whole new cast, but it will be Dark Shadows. The same character is just a new cast. So, I mean, now Jonathan Frid's pretty old now. Isn't well, he? he's not going to do it. They They're all looked old have, anyway. <laughs> Dan Cross is going to be playing Barnabas now, so that's that's the only character they've really let anybody know about. Now, the ones I run into problems with the Adams family. I guess they can't really do a good one of those because uh, Jack Carolyn, Tish is dead. Carolyn Jones is dead. Oh, yeah, and um, Jackie Coogan's dead, isn't he? And, um, I'm Birch pretty is dead. He's dead. Cassidy's be. dead. So. It's like <laughs> so the Adams family. Has one of our too. cameramen says, he's "Yes, he's dead." Kind of a bust there. So. Um, <laughs> Then, um, well, I have Lost in Space down here, but Guy Williams, Guy Williams is, dead. is dead. Right. But then I was thinking, well, along with that, it could be like a whole Irwin Allen kind of <laughs> no. hour thing. Have a whole, whole uh. evening of, <laughs> of uh, you destruction. Just every, you just take all the Irwin Allen shows and run them together. <laughs> just roll them into one. Have somebody they, going into space. They, they shrink the down. The big <laughs> destructo time. They shrink down to miniature size. Lots they go into explosions. a submarine. It's, it's the whole. No, the submarine okay. can go into space. Yeah. Yeah, it shoots right okay, out of the water. Buddy. That's Maybe right. we could get the Andersons to work on it with them. And then the whole thing just blows up. <laughs> and then the Green Hornet. Now, once again, we run into a problem because, of course, dead. Bruce Lee is dead. But his son, Brandon, did a, a very good character on the, um, the, Kung Fu. the Kung Fu reunion show. So um, it's possible that he could play Kato, because Van Williams is still out there, and he's still interested in the thing. He always goes to the conventions, and he's talking about, oh, yeah. And actually, he is writing a comic book that will probably be out by the time that this is showing because um, they've redone a Green Hornet comic book. So, um, well, anyway, he's still out there. And so that's, those are basically my picks. Batman, My Favorite Martian, Outer Limits, UFO, Night Gallery, The Addams Family, Lost in Space, Kolchak the Night Stalker, Green Hornet, and Dark Shadows. Okay, I'll turn it over to you, Captain okay. Schmidio. Okay. Um, Marty, do you want to go through your list? Uh, I'll uh, wait till okay. the end. Okay. 
Well, I'll go ahead. Go for it. I want to see Love American Style again. Because okay, you, you can practically do that with anybody yeah, anyway. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much practically everybody was series. on it. Mm -hmm. And then I want to see the spinoff of Love American Style, which was Happy Days. And yeah. I think we could get Ron Howard to do Richie he, he, one he, more time. He did Return to Mayberry. Came yeah, why not? That. I mean, you know. Sure. He was... He was He's not so big that he can't go back. And well, he directs things. now. He's not a movie star, but you know, you got those lulls between movies. Yeah, yeah. Right. Going back and do Richie again. The Gong Show, which hey. is another show which, leave off J.P. Morgan this time, but you can get anybody, bring back people who actually won. Yeah. Uh, I love The Gong Show. It was tacky and, and it was great and I loved Gene, it. Gene and and, and I really miss Chucky, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I think, the clapping, I think the clapping drove him crazy. I think that's why the show went off the air, I think. Okay, now this one you guys might have problems with, Mr. Ed. Because basically, if you can get a talented Palomino, now I know the man who does the voice I think has passed away. But that's another thing. You never right. saw him. Right, that's true. And, and I think, like, Wilbur's still out oh, there. Oh, yeah. He, was, he yeah. was doing a show, like, two years ago, he did a show, some show on CBS, some sitcom, he was like the the second banana, like the next door neighbor Crouching guy. Next door neighbor yeah. guy, okay. Something like that. Now here's what I'm not sure about the old Dick Van Dyke show. Mm -hmm. I've even got an idea. I think Buddy, Sally, and Rob should all be together on public access television, trying to make a comeback. <laughs> I think that would be real interesting, and it would be good for us too. Yeah, no, no, mm -hmm. we're really doing anything right now. Okay, th this show ran only a couple years. It was called Please Don't Eat the Daisies. Hey. Yeah. I remember this. I like the dog on the show, but I like the mom, too, and I know she's still around. That's, um... She's on Generations. That's the last time I saw her. I happened to flip well, on Well, darn this. it, we've got this book here, so let's find out. In fact, don't I want to say her last name is Kern. Okay. That's spun off of a movie, didn't it? it yeah, a mm -hmm. book and a movie, and it's, you know, kind of about offbeat uh, suburban housewife. I think Doris Day was in the movie. Yeah. Okay, that I, I want to say Joanne Kern or something like that played the mom. Well, I always liked the show, and, and, and they had sons, and it's like the only family... Patricia Crowley. Patricia Crowley. Well, I was real close on that mm -hmm. name, wasn't I? Okay. <laughs> so, but, I mean, you know, they had kids. They had, they would be grown up. Mm -hmm. It, you know, every, all the other family shows got to do it. This one I just liked a lot. Um, Barney Miller. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see Barney Miller come back in some kind of reunion. I think they've only lost Jack Sue. They kind of, they kind of have to handle. But he died during the show. Right. Well, so the, yeah. his character so that's already was been covered. Handled. That's already been handled. But they all went off to different things, didn't they? They all went well, off to different precincts at the end. Uh, well, that's quite possible. But they could be but reassigned. Could be, There's yeah, no, they could be I mean, brought they, back for something. Right. There's for always, some there's always a reunion movie reason to bring everybody back yeah, together. Yeah. I mean, you so. know, I don't have to think that. Still up. Around? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Still around. Okay. Yep. Despite right. th there's there's a major rumor going around he was dead for a while, but okay. actually he, just he looks wasn't. That way. Yeah, he just looks that way right. all the time. He's always looked that way. That's, that's <laughs> okay, I'm not sure like about room 222. No, well, have people by passed God. away on at Lloyd is Nolan. Lloyd, Lloyd Nolan is dead. Yeah. Well, he was an old guy anyway. No. Well, not what's well, room 222. No, the Lloyd next Nolan. generation. That's the guy from Julie. Um, right. Um, the guy that was the main teacher. The main teacher has died. He's dead. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad because Room 222 is the show I'd like hey, to see brought back somewhere. <laughs> I want to say Lloyd Nolan. They could have a class reunion for Room 222. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, go. that's an easy one to get a reunion reason. <laughs> okay, Dennis the Menace. Mm -hmm. Hey. Uh, Jay North still looks like Dennis. I saw him on an HBO special or something playing a disgruntled character, but he had an overalls and striped shirt. He still looks like Dennis, and I believe his parents are still alive. Hmm. The people who played his parents. So here's another family show where everyone's grown up. Now let's see what happens. Oh, hold on, it's Lloyd Haynes. That Lloyd was Haynes, Lloyd okay, Haynes. that's Pete room Dixon 222. He, he's dead. Okay, and another one that was like a big favorite of mine, and I like, still watch it when I can find it, is Here Come the Brides. Mm -hmm. I'd like to hey. see everybody married this time, <laughs> everybody, and just uh, see how happy they are in Seattle in the 1860s or sure, whatever. Boy. One stipulation, let's, let's not have Bobby Sherman sing this time, please. <laughs> oh. He can stutter Ooh. all day. He can Yikes. stutter oh, all day. Oh, I kind of like to see him let's, over let's his not have him. Too. Let's not have him sing. I'd like to see him and Candy married and settled down. And I figured that was always the problem. He needed a steady girlfriend. <laughs> that would cure the stuttering, and I figured. Maybe he needs something else to cure that stuttering. Well, that anyway. kind of comes along with that. <laughs> We hope. Mm. Okay, go ahead, Mark. All right. Well, here's my uh, top ten. Actually, a couple of them have already been mentioned. Uh, first off, uh, my number one would be the old Dick Van Dyke show. 
Uh, I certainly think that, uh, uh, I, I mean, Mary Tyler Moore is kind of quirky enough, even though she's a big star, to come back and do it if the script was good. Well, I mean, not she did, did Mary yeah. just bombed. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that other show. That, 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 yeah, and so did his, so that... Uh, yeah, that's had, a positive. They could get together. Yeah, yeah, sure, you know. So I thought that was a fine idea. Uh, let's see. Uh, second one was Courtship of Eddie's Father. Now, I heard, like, two years ago on some news show... That they were saying that because uh, Brandon Cruz was on some show and he was saying, "Oh yeah, they're gonna make." And like they were in like they were writing it at the time, mm. and I haven't heard anything about it since. Mm. And it was gonna be like this this almost kind of dramatic thing because it's like uh, he, uh, the kid and the dad have kind of they've grown apart and it's kind of a oh, no. <laughs> kind of a thing where they they get back together and all this and it's all wonderful and and darn it, I want to see this thing and they haven't made it yet. Anyways. Um, Let's see. The Odd Couple. Now, we keep hearing that they're going to do something. Another thing that we keep hearing, they're both around. What's the deal here? I, I'd want to kill them both if I saw them on TV <laughs> again together. <laughs> They'd probably they're doing commercials together now. <laughs> I, I got real fed up with The Odd Couple. I mean, it started out, that was one I watched. Oh, that was a big favorite of mine. It was a big favorite, but I would probably want to kill them. Well, you That's couldn't live with them. Of course, if they got, it, it would be <laughs> half an hour a week, though. You know, if they could get Penny Marshall back on there as her original uh, uh, Myrna. Myrna, yes, yeah, the the real confident secretary <laughs> there. <laughs> well, I've only done like two two different new odd couples. They tried. They tried well, the black odd couple. Demond Wilson. Demond, and, well, we and, just um, saw that the other night. And, uh, Ron Glass. Ron Glass. Yeah. And they had like a female odd couple too somewhere. Well, they, I, I know on, they've tried almost every conceivable demographic Broadway. type for Broadway. You know, it's like the Chinese odd couple, the blind odd couple, the, uh, you know, <laughs> they've, every conceivable uh, thing. But I, I still want to see it come back, darn it. My Three Sons. Now this, uh, <laughs> now this show, um, the thing with, there was a, a show, and I only have a vague recollection of this. It was around the late, uh, like mid to late 70s. It was a combined Partridge Family, My Three Sons reunion movie. Oh, my God. And it, I, it is in, I, I read about it in this book. It did exist. It did exist. Yes. <laughs> and I, that was not the way to do it. I want to see just well, My well, Three Sons. Well, wait a minute. If you do My Three Sons, can, can little Dodie be dead? Yeah, we could do that. Okay. He was okay. killed in a tragic accident, Boo -boo. so uh, <laughs> it's all over. Just off the face of the earth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah she's, you know, uh, she's, uh, she can phone she's in a or missionary something. now, <laughs> and uh, we never see her. Send now. her the peace course. Yeah. <laughs> the Bob Newhart show, the the old, not not the new Bob Newhart show, the old. Okay, Bob Newhart you show. saw how they ended yes. the new one. Yes. They actually went back to yes. the old uh -huh. one. I want to see. see this. I want to see a reunion. I want to see some sort of movie. Where uh, just just to see Howard again, <laughs> 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 to me, and so everyone can sit around and play a, a lovely two-hour rousing game of high bob. So uh, I just uh, I I would just uh, fill me with joy for that. Uh, uh, Hawaii Five-O. Now, uh, <laughs> now, I mean, this to me is a natural for a thing, you know, kind of a. <laughs> Kind of a, I mean, Jack Lord's still around, right? Yeah, easily. He's just, he just doesn't do anything anymore, as far as I can tell. Uh, Good old book him, Dano. Yeah. He's still <laughs> <laughs> They're all still around. We want Everybody's to see still around. I think it would be a wonderful thing, you know. Uh, yeah, you even have, uh, you could even, you could even tie it in, have like a, 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 a cameo by Magnum. Hey, They're hey. both on the same, you know. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> both, both there in the same. Hey, what thing. do we have? Just. Hawaii doctor, what's his right. name? Jump into and yeah. say hello. What's that new one? Island Sun. Island Sun. I mean, Richard Chamberlain. Have a, a big Hawaii show. <laughs> yeah. That's Hawaii. On any one of the islands just yeah. happens to be right yeah. there. Any any show based on that. And you even people guys from, from Hawaii and I. California and, could fly <laughs> yeah. over. Yeah. Surf over, man. Make it cool. Uh, let's see. I also picked my favorite Martian. Um, certainly, uh, uh, certainly, uh, not I, not not the most wonderfully written show in the world, but uh, what it, was back then? Huh? Right, what exactly. Was? It was now. It, now it, I considered the, my favorite Martian, but I thought it was a fifty show. No, no, no it, it was, was a 60s. actually a sixty it, it show. Was 60s. It sure looks like the fifties, but it was a sixty <laughs> show, and uh, we'd we'd really like to see that. Uh, oh, by the way, I, I might uh, mention in in turn that uh, later this season, uh, we're going to devote an entire show to Bill Bixby. And we're all very excited about the little retrospective of like, the yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're so stay tuned for that. Anyways, I just wanted to mention that in turn. Anyways, um, uh, now I'm convinced this is going to happen, and I'm convinced 
before 1995, a major world reunion tour will occur for the Partridge family. <laughs> now, no. we're, Susan, Susan Day will Day leave, LA she'll leave LA Law for like one season and go and, and do this this world and tour. And be Lori Partridge. And, yeah, why not? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it'd be nice because uh, uh, what Danny Bonducci is now like a. a is it D like his like busted? He's, yeah, he's <laughs> well, in between DJ and Jailbird. He's, yeah, like, he's in between there. Do a little like DJ, a, run a little coke. <laughs> yeah. Do a little DJ. Well, run so a little we could coke. get some steady work now. That okay. would be nice to get him away from jail, you know? I considered that one too, but I didn't think Susan Day would no. go to that. Um, the, uh, the Rockford Files. Uh, I'd really like to see a Rockford Files uh, kind of movie. I mean, they've done they've done the Columbo thing. They've done they just done some clouds. They almost all the '70s ones are back. I'd say they've not done Heck Ramsey. <laughs> yeah. That's the one I like. Darn the luck. Why? <laughs> anyway, I don't know. The guy was. And ugly. finally, uh, that girl. Oh, where, where is Ted Donald. Bessel when we need him? He's directing Tracy Ullman. Yeah, Ullman's. directing. Yeah, well, so Tracy Ullman's Donald. 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 She's, Donald. She's not returning. <laughs> she's not returning. She's you not really returning. want to hear Let's Marlo see. Thomas wow. whine again, huh? Wow. <laughs> well, yeah, just a, just, just a little bit of cameo Donald by Holland Jack. <laughs> a little cameo by Danny, by, uh, by Danny Thomas would be, it'd be wonderful. Anyways, uh, we wanted, before we uh, got out of here, to uh, get into our picks for the best and the worst of the ones that have already been done. So if you could quickly just jump right into that sucker. Well, I didn't go for the worst because, by gosh, I just went for my favorites. Okay. I enjoyed the, the Wild Wild West reunion shows. There have been two of them. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed those. Those were great. Yes. The Man from Uncle. They did one reunion show for that, and they tied in other spy things with it. I enjoyed that one. That one was fun. The Green Acres. I enjoyed the Green I Acres. I am so mad show. that I missed that. I, I love that one. I, they could even go on with a series from there. They have that much. They had that strong of a cast. They well, could that was do a great it. show. They could do it. And it then, was really um, scary sorely unappreciated by its. Now, the last audience. one, there, I'm sure I'll get some dissension from this one. Okay. The Bionic thing. When they, <laughs> when they did that reunion they, thing there, I. It was for, for, for the concept. I mean, what they did with the concept, I thought it was pretty good. You yeah, know? They introduced some new characters if they didn't can get too spin silly with it. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's the thing. They, they did not try to get too silly with it, but they, did, they tried to um, stick within the continuity and um, create some new characters, and they did a good job with that. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, let me see, that's favorite, so. Well, I got, uh, my big favorite was uh, Return to Mayberry because literally every single conceivable cast member with, I think, the exception of Aunt B was, was involved. Uh, and Aunt and B and, and basically other than dead people, <laughs> other than the dead cast members, everyone who was possibly available, they, they managed to find and, and get them all together. And it was just, in fact, it was, they were talking very much at the time that NBC wanted to start the, new, the series again, the, the Andy Griffith show again, and Andy Griffith said he didn't think it would work as a continuing series, which I think was right, and he wanted another series, so they created Matlock. And that's why Matlock's on the air, because of that Return to Mayberry thing. Anyways, um, my, a close second was Get Smart Again. Now, this was not the, the 80s, early 80s nude bomb movie. This is not that. This is the far, far superior uh, Get Smart Again. It was on, I think, last year, first time. And it featured everybody. I mean, they, they got Stryker, they got uh, uh, Siegfried, and uh, Jaime, and, uh, and Agent 13, and it's just, just a darn fine thing. And um, just to quick go through uh, my my per my personal worst and and why they didn't work was uh, Beverly Hillbillies reunion was about 1981 with almost none of the original cast. I think only like three people, like Pa and uh, and. Um, Isn't that the one where they put the little carved granny on the mantle because yes. yeah, granny was, got over? <laughs> yes, he it, was whittling that thing the whole darn show. It was <laughs> horrible because there was nobody there. Anyways, did you have anything? Uh, um, I, I'm. Best and worst Green Acres. Best because they had so much of the cast there, and worst because some of it was so hokey. I actually fell asleep. I didn't see the very end of it. But and the Wild Wild West. I always liked mm -hmm. those because I like the show anyway. Well, anyways, um, let's see. Well, that, that's about wraps it up. We're being told we're just about ready to wrap up here. Uh, next episode. What the heck are we doing next episode? We we can actually we're actually be on two weeks from now. <laughs> Pretty darn ama amazing. Uh, well, we'll have 
We'll have something. I don't know. We'll have an idea. We'll have an idea. Right, We've got lots of ideas. We just don't know what We've to pick got from ideas. our massive repository of ideas. So, 20 uh, years worth of ideas no, here. Yeah, we'll, we'll, be we'll, on, we'll be on forever until ACTV kicks us out or whatever. So oh, for all of national. us here at uh, Vast Wasteland, national. we'll see you in two weeks. Good night, everybody. Good evening, and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. Welcome home.